In this video I'm going to be showing you how to go about fixing this error message. There is a problem with the website security certificate. Okay. Now if you're getting this on every single website you enter in your Internet Explorer browser and you're getting this error message on every single web page, the first thing you want to do is come down and check your year on your time. So double click on the actual time in the bottom right hand corner there and you'll see the year there. Okay, you need to make sure the year is correct. If it's wrong, then all these certificates that you've got for this browser have expired. Okay, so you need to make sure you've got the right year and that should be the end of that problem. If you're only getting it on certain web pages like your bank or something like that and you're trying to log on to your bank and you're getting this problem here, then you need there's a quick fix you can actually do. You can actually come to let me just show you the actual browser here. What you can do is come into tools, internet options, and then go uh, security. And in the security, you can actually come to trusted sites and then go into sites. And basically, if this was your bank address, what you can actually do is, if, for instance, I don't know, say for instance, it was, uh, say, Halifax, you can actually, oh, you can actually go like so. And then once you've done that, you can actually add this site in. Now you can actually see the actual tick in here requires a server for verification, okay, HTTPS for all sites in this zone. You can actually add this. Now you must make sure you trust this site, okay. Now obviously if it's your bank, then obviously you're going to trust it. But don't do it to any old site that you don't know, okay. Make sure you trust it first. And then just add that in like so, and that should fix that problem for you. Okay, there is another way to go about it as well. You can actually click on the error message itself and then um, you can actually see the error message and what you need to do is click on the certificate error, view the certificate error uh, and then what you want to do is there will be a little tab there that says install certificate and then click yes and then that should fix that problem. Okay, and that should be it. It's pretty simple really. Okay, so I hope this has helped you out. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. If you enjoy my videos, then please subscribe to my channel and also rate for all my videos. If you've got any questions or any problems, then please head over to the forum and put your questions over there, and I'll do my best to answer them for you. Thanks again for watching, guys. Bye for now.